When Hyun Su was on bed, Shipper texted him to receive the package, as soon as he opened the door, he saw his package was opened and scattered on the floor, following the scattered items, he saw an awful scene, a head was tossed in front of him, a hand raised from the dark and picked it up, Hyun Su freaked out, he went back to his room and covered himself with a blanket, the sound of footsteps resounded. Someone seemed to stop at his door, right after that, the doorbell rang, excuse me, is anyone home, please help me, I'm so scared, hearing the cry for help, Hyun Su slowly got out of the blanket, and he saw a woman standing at the door, she said her door was opened when she got home, there was blood all over the floor, and her cat was gone, she cried and begged him to let her in, Hyun Su asked her to calm down. He was trying to call the police, but there was no phone signal, he remembered something before opening the door, let me see your hands, being asked to show her hands, she suddenly became impatient, her nose kept bleeding, then she frantically banged on the door, trying to break it, however, she left when hearing the singing from upstairs, after she went away, he got out with a mop, at the corner. He saw a man with a scar on the face going downstairs, Hyun Su asked the man, have you seen a strange woman, yet, he fainted away before the man answered him, elsewhere, Jisoo when was practicing music in her room, she heard someone knocking on the door, as she thought her music affected the neighbors, she was about to explain, however, the woman screamed in pain for food, she banged on the door like crazy. The door was deformed, as her door was broken, Jisoo picked up a baseball bat to defense herself, all of a sudden, the monster stopped, Jisoo approached the door, she got scared when seeing a scarred face, later, she told him about the woman in red, Sangwook followed the bloody trace to a perforated window, he guessed the woman in red had already broken the door out, and he punched the door and said. She was trying to break the door, not knocking, in the same building, Eunhyuk didn't smell the danger, he was going down for work, because the elevator was under maintenance, he had to take the stairs, however, the main door was locked, the inhabitants gathered around in the hall, all of their phones had no signal, Eunhyuk gotta go to work so he broke the door of the security room, the female firefighter called 119 but no one answered. An old man found the button to open the door, when the door was lifted, the woman stroking her dog saw something wrong, something was 3 meter tall stood at the door, Eunhyuk came close to see and realized it was a monster, he quickly asked the old man to close the door, it was too late. The monster broke the glass door and got in, it stabbed someone and sucked his blood, the victim lost all his blood in a blink of an eye. Eunhyuk sprayed the fire extinguisher at the monster, under the attack, the monster slowly backed away, Eunhyuk asked the old man to close the door, the frightened old man took a few seconds to act, he pressed the button to close the door, yet, the fire extinguisher ran out of foam, oops. It wasn't good. The monster was back inside, a brave woman shoved it outside, Eunhyuk tried his best to close the door. On the way back to the lobby, the monster stabbed her calf, at the last moment, Eunhyuk pulled her back inside, when he successfully closed the door, a long sharp tongue approached near them, it was almost hit the woman's eye, being clamped in chink of the door, the monster withdrew, as the danger was over, the residents who were hiding slowly walked out, the old man blamed the government for failing to destroy only one monster. Eunhyuk's words gave them a chill, there are more than one, Eunhyuk was right, there were no people on the road, only monsters in different kinds, this girl was calling someone, hearing a strange sound from upstairs, she raised her head, the lights were turned on, she ran downstairs in fear, in a state of panic, her leg twisted and she fell to the ground, on the ground, she cursed and heard footsteps. Turning around, she saw the man with a scarred face, she could keep her guard down as he wasn't something dirty, out of nowhere, the woman in red attacked him, it bit his shoulder, Eunhyuk sat up with fear, Sangwook threw the monster in red away, he touched the wound on his shoulder, the monster tried to attack, yet, Sangwook already grabbed its neck, he saw Jisoo's room number on its forehead. For sure, it was the one banging Jisoo's door earlier, though getting a powerful punch, the monster could still stand up, and ran towards Eunhyuk, Sangwook kicked the monster to the wall, Eunhyuk was scared silly, elsewhere, Jisoo went downstairs with a bat, she saw a man mumbling alone in a corner, so she tried to walk in silence but he heard her, he moved towards her, Jisoo swung the bat and he fell to the ground. When she was about to check on him, a voice raised from behind, don't come close him. Or else, you'll die, they hid themselves in a corner, Jisoo wondered if the monster died, Jaehyun couldn't be sure, at this moment, the monster with half of its head was moving, Hyunsu was also seeing the doomsday from the window, his nose kept bleeding, he searched on the internet for what was going on out there. Eunhyuk was checking it out, they read an article, the writer said it was a curse, before turning into monsters, these people would have nosebleeds and suffer from auditory hallucinations, monsters do not belong here, humans cannot defeat them, the writer also attacked by monsters, he wrote, people with symptoms should end their own lives, 
but if they decide to continue their lives, they need to know. The network signal was disconnected before they could read the last words, Hyun Su was speechless, feeling very hungry, he remembered the packs of instant noodles outside, carefully opening the door, he saw the packs of instant noodles on the floor, no chance to be happy. A monster with half head leaned on his door, Hyun Su covered his mouth, the blind monster had a very good hearing, a little carelessness would turn Hyun Su into the monster's food. Hyun Su picked up a brush to defend himself, well, he underestimated the monster's hearing, when the monster almost found Hyun Su, Eun Hyuk was testing the speaker, which helped Hyun Su get out of danger, since the monster was very strong, Hyun Su gave up on trying to kill it, he crawled on the ground, trying to hold his breath, luckily, the monster didn't detect the living guy. It slowly got out of the room. Experiencing two days of hunger drove him to despair, so he intended to put his life to an end, when he opened the window, he saw a father climbing outside to find food for his kids, his children had nothing to eat for three days, a big-eyed monster suddenly appeared, Hyun Su warned him to hide away, the father then saw the big-eyed monster, but he was too scared to fall off, the big-eyed monster gradually got close to the window. When the kids were ready to die, a screen dropped, getting hit by Hyun Su's screen, it raised to his window, it broke the glass and wrapped Hyun Su, he couldn't breath as it was strangling him tighter and tighter, however, the eye was cut off, it lost the vitality, Hyun Su leaned out of the window, the man next door used his homemade weapon to kill the monster, Do Sik hushed Hyun Su and wrote down on the notebook. Do you want to save the kids, if you do, come over here, before getting out of home, he put on earphone and made a call, once the monster came close, it would be soniferous, to save the kids, Hyun Su risked his life, he equipped himself and bravely walked out the door, he encountered no monster along the way, Hyun Su got in Do Sik's home, seeing Do Sik with his bare eyes, Hyun Su was so surprised. Because Do Sik was a disabled man who couldn't walk on his feet, nevertheless, he was aware of weapons, he picked up Hyun Su's homemade weapon and renovated it, turning it into a taser, he told Hyun Su that normal weapon couldn't get rid of the monsters, this taser could chase them away, to save the kids, Hyun Su decided to try, in the hallway, the phone alerted, it was still the blind monster. He hid in the elevator, Hyun Su thought the monster was gone, but it came back hearing a fly, taking the chance, Hyun Su electrically shocked the monster, the power of electric worked, the monster got numb, Hyun Su ran away, the blind monster chased after him, it swung the tentacle towards Hyun Su, without eyesight, it failed to attack him, as the monster was heading to his hideaway, he threw a yo-yo towards the opposite direction. The monster was temporarily confused, again, Hyun Su gave it an electric shock, the blind monster fell to the ground, in a hurry, Hyun Su came to the kid's place, he comforted them and took them with him, when they left the house, something unexpected happened, the virus in Hyun Su took over him, his nose kept bleeding, Su Yang asked Hyun Su, are you okay, Hyun Su replied, stay away from me, go away, when he was changing, the door opened, shoving him to the ground, the muscle monster with a smile appeared, it approached the kids, Hyun Su held its leg to stop it from touching them, he told them to run, as the kids were on the run, the monster threw Hyun Su against the wall, it punched Hyun Su with a fit of spleen, Jae Hyun and Ji Su came, Jae Hyun struck the muscle monster with his sword. Ji Su pulled Hyun Su away from the ruin, they carried him to a room, Hyun Su's eyes turned back to normal, they weren't sure whether he was infected or not, the kids encountered the blind monster on the staircase, Yang Su was too scared to pee, Su Yang remembered Hyun Su's warning on a blind monster, the little girl covered her brother's mouth, they even held their breath, the monster left. Unfortunately, the muscle monster were going up, they screamed out of fear, a tentacle went through the head of the muscle monster, it was the blind one, the scream led it back, Su Yang took Yang Su to run away from there, the muscle monster gave the blind one a roundhouse and threw it out of the window, it kept chasing the kids, the little kids didn't have a chance to run, couldn't save themselves. They closed their eyes and waited for the death, Myung Suk got in the monster's way, don't touch the kids. You can do it right, the muscular monster kicked Myung Suk away, on the ground, she saw her baby smiling, the monster was right behind him, watching the monster trembled the stroller, she remembered her baby was gone in an accident, however, she couldn't accept the truth, she even pushed the stroller around as if he was still alive. The muscular monster hit her head, Hyun Su, Ji Su, and Jae Hyun followed the noise there, the kids got back their senses when Hyun Su called them, when the monster was focusing on Myung Suk, the kids stayed behind Hyun Su and the other two, the monster also turned around, while everyone was wondering how to handle the monster, Myung Suk jumped on the back of the monster, she bit it strongly. And she knew she was changing, her violent willing of saving the kids urged her to attack the monster, Jisoo couldn't wait, she knocked hell out of the monster, 
Jae Hyun also swung his sword, cutting its shoulder, the muscle monster pissed off, it threw Myung Sook on the ground, Jae Hyun said, leave it to me, they can't beat God, you're weaker than I think, Jisoo told him, you'll die, Jae Hyun teased the monster. Your muscle is good for nothing, he then put it off the scent, leading it to another direction, Jisoo got close to Myung Sook, it was clearly that she changed, Jisoo pointed her bat at Myung Sook, Myung Sook wondered where the kids were, her pupils also turned back to normal, Hyun Soo took her to their hideaway, on the lobby, Jae Hyun was chased by the monster, it drove him into a corner, sacrificing one's life for friends is the greatest love. Acting under God's will, you will definitely become God's friend. Amen, the monster jumped out of the window, gathering around the table, they were enjoying the transient peace during a warm meal, they waited for the government's rescue, however, the whole building was in new danger, when no one was in the control room, an auntie opened the main door, she cleared the support at the door to make way. The neighbors stopped her, she explained that her daughter was coming home, based on her GPS, so she just opened the door to let her daughter in, Hyun Hyuk didn't believe her, while they were struggling, a girl was running towards the building, however, she got a fall, while Hyun Hyuk was hesitating, a solider ran out, straight towards the girl. Before he could reach her, he was stabbed, so was she, the mother screamed out of pain, Hyun Hyuk pushed her aside and covered the door, at that time, a sharp tongue pierced through the cabinet, Hyun Hyuk was too scared to move, if he moved even an inch, he might have died, the long tongue slowly withdrew and the door closed, the mother cried her eyes out when her daughter was gone, she blamed Eun Hyuk for her death. Without him, she could have entered the building, the speaker was on, the government updated the latest situation, some people might turn into monsters, this virus is related to human desires, the state after being infected will also change according to their desires, the best time to get rid of them is right before they turn into monsters, once completely transformed, they will have a very strong ability to self-recover. Jisoo, Jaehyun, and Hyun Soo decided to go to the first floor, Do Sik also gave them upgraded weapons. Everyone was fully armed, they saw a body in the lobby, no worries because it was a man's body, Hyun Soo stared at the body without noticing someone in the room behind, getting hit in the head but he could still wake up, he also didn't know why he didn't die, Eun Hyuk appeared and told Hyun Soo. You don't die after a fall from above, because it's your prime time of changing, you're able to self-heal. Yet, it's also time to get rid of the monster, everyone gathered to discuss about Hyun Soo, the selfish store owner was the first person who wanted to kick Hyun Soo out, a few seconds later, his nose bled, he made an excuse that he was weary, everyone knew that was the first symptom, finally. The residents isolated them in a room, upstairs, Myung Sook started to change, Suyang told Do Sik that she was in the toilet for such a long time, she didn't open the door no matter how many times Suyang knocked, Do Sik felt something wrong, picking up a weapon. He opened the toilet door, he was stunned, Myung Sook turned into a fetus, that was her obsession, she only wished to be a mother. Who protected her baby even when she was turned into a monster, Do Sik was touched and he didn't want to destroy her dream, so he slowly closed the door, and told the kids that Myung Sook had gone, the meals on the table and two scarves were her last gifts she gave the kids, the next day, Eun Hyuk told Hyun Soo, I keep you here because of your special constitution, you'll be assigned with some dangerous missions. If you don't agree, I'll kick you out of the building, your first mission is to take Do Sik down here, as he needs to reinforce the main door, Hyun Soo and Sang Wook went upstairs, on the second floor, Sang Wook was dragged away by a monster, Hyun Soo was shoved to the ground by a strong wind, running towards them was a big foot monster, it was shot before attacking Hyun Soo, a masked woman appears in the hallway. Chasing the big foot monster, Hyun Soo checked on Sang Wook, he was blacked out, the masked people took them in a condo. Sang Wook woke up, he just left without saying a word, the father and daughter knew Hyun Soo wanted to take alive people downstairs, they joined Hyun Soo's mission, thanks to their help, they three arrived at Do Sik's place, all of them safely went to the first floor, elsewhere. Sang Wook was searching for something in a condo, after that, he went to a secret room, there, many photos of abused kids were hung on the wall, Sang Wook was in a high dudgeon when seeing those, he went downstairs to find the jerk who did it, the jerk realized him and attacked him from behind, Sang Wook was quick enough to grab his axe, he shoved the jerk to the ground, and kept striking on the head despite that everyone was looking at him with scare. After his last strike, the jerk no longer breathed, next, Sang Wook lifted the door and dragged the body to the street, then he brought the bodies of the soldier and the student inside, it was like the apocalypse, human were selfish. The whole city was full of monsters, Hyun Soo was the only one who got infected without turning into a monster, he became the black sheep, every day, he searched around in the building for the monster. The others asked him to risk his life to get them something unnecessary, dog food, phone charger, tampons, and even sun cream, 
coming back after each completed mission, he was locked in a dark room, Do Sik was extremely dissatisfied with this, he questioned Eun Hyuk, yet, Eun Hyuk did nothing at all, because he was keeping everyone safe, once Hyun Soo lost his senses, the consequences were unimaginable. When Hyun Soo was searching for something, he heard wearing bells, without the presence of him, the first floor was also in danger, Kim Suk changed into a monster, the bitter, unpleasant, and dull man transformed into a long-haired monster, Kim Suk's wife stopped Sang Wook from acting, he had abused her for years, so she decided to repay him at that moment, someone knocked on the door, Eun Yu opened the door and saw how tired Hyun Soo was. Seeing Kim Suk on the floor, he thought he might be end up like him one day, a voice in his mind told him, you'll be end up by him, Hyun Soo dropped the weapon and left in loneliness, perhaps everyone considered him a monster all the time, only Eun Yu and Do Sik knew him, the lack of food was the urgent issue, so Eun Hyuk asked Hyun Soo, find a way out, Hyun Soo didn't think that monsters hurt them. Eun Soo continued, monsters are just monsters. We're running out of time, before you transformed, we must find a new way of life, Hyun Soo went to the basement parking for a check, Eun Hyuk and the others watched him through the camera, suddenly a spider web wrapped around his ankle, he was also hung in the air, the spider wrapped him up with its net and green liquid, as Hyun Soo was in danger. Eun Hyuk and a few men came to save him, the basement parking was deadly silent, their light shined on a big thigh monster, it was the one pushing Hyun Soo off the stairs, the monster seemed to be sleeping, they tried not to wake it up by taking every careful and light steps, when they found Hyun Soo, the green liquid around his body disappeared, in the control room, hearing something on the ceiling. He picked up the weapon and waited for the monster, jumping off the ceiling was a spider monster, it was chasing after Su Yang, Du Sik pushed his wheelchair at speed to save her, the men were taking senseless Hyun Soo to the first floor, Ji Su dropped her bat to the ground due to her stomachache, the loud sound broke the silence, the earphones alert. Eun Hyuk was knocked down, when it turned back to him. He shot it, though it got a shot in the head, it was still fine, the monster slowly approached them, two people under the car daren't breathe, the monster was a runner, Eunhyuk took out a key, the monster was attracted by the sound, Sangwook and Jisoo took the chance to bring Hyun Soo out, they touched the car and it alarmed. The monster found them and rushed towards there, get in the car, Jae Hyun and Eunhyuk drove a 16-seat car. After they all got in the car, Eunhyuk sped up, the auto sound attracted all the monsters in the basement, they were chased by those monsters, misfortune had its sense. They found a way out, successfully escaped from the basement, a giant monster chased after Do Sik, Su Yang tried to help Do Sik get up, when the monster came near, Do Sik lured it to the trap he set up earlier, the spider was hung up. Yet, it grabbed Su Yang's ankle, the monster was strong enough to get away from the trap, as he was going to die, the women in the room pulled the trap, the monster was hung up in the air again, Su Yang threw a fire at the monster, the monster screamed in pain and struggled. These women couldn't fight against the monster. Escaping from the trap, the monster crawled towards Do Suk, Eun Hyuk and the others came back in time, Do Sik was on the ground, Hyun Soo got the monster electric shock, the electric current gave the monster a pain, it kept stabbing Hyun Soo but he didn't get back, he risked his life to eliminate the monster, both of them fell to the ground, when everyone was bitten, when people thought Hyun Soo was gone. He pushed the monster away, he stood up with the eyes full of black, what just happened made them speechless, Hyun Soo saved their lives but they looked at him with strange glances, he tottered to the detention room, as soon as he opened the door, a girl said sorry to him, Eun Hyuk told not to isolate himself from then on, yet, Hyun Soo still chose to lock himself, he was happy to be recognized. Yet, he didn't want to hurt them, they had enough food for only 5 days, Eun Hyuk planned to find for more food from nearby convenience stores, so he asked Do Sik to upgrade a car, and he needed a few guys to do the mission. The chance was only one, those who could defend themselves should go, everyone looked at Hyun Soo and Sang Wook who were the best fighters there, at this time, something unexpected happened again. Ji Soo faint away due to the pain, Eun Hyuk had a knowledge of medicine, he diagnosed her with acute appendicitis, she would die without timely surgery, but they didn't have medicine and medical tools, they needed to go out finding for those, Hyun Soo and Sang Wook knew nothing about medicine, Yuri was a nurse so she volunteered to join them, they drove the equipped car to the nearest hospital. An incident occurred as soon as they left the building, a monster flipped the car upside down. Sang Wook and Yuri passed out, Hyun Soo was seriously injured. His body was full of blood, that was the muscular monster, it even grew bigger than before, the monsters around became its food, the muscular monster was as huge as Thanos, it remembered weak people who kicked it out of the building, the old man helped Hyun Soo sit up, his nose suddenly bled, could it be that he was also infected, the muscular monster was right in front of their eyes. 
The old man pushed Hyun Su away, keep living, he stood there alone waiting for the monster's punch, out of nowhere, the fire truck hit the monster, pushing it back away, it was motiveless, that was Ik Young who just returned, the monster tried to lift the truck and punch Ik Young, Ik Young was shot out of the truck, the fire truck was going to fall on her, fortunately, the electric pole was there. Which bought her some time, Ik Young got back to the truck and reversed it, the muscular monster followed her in a high dudgeon, the gasoline of the upgraded car was leaked, the sparks were on the ground, Sangwook carried Yuri out before the car exploded, the flame devoured the monster, but it wasn't enough to get rid of the monster, Ik Young aimed at the monster and pedaled fast, the monster tried to stop the truck. When the muscle monster was a bit exhausted, Ik Young pushed it to a deep hole, Ik Young knew it was still alive, she reversed the burning truck in the hole, Finally, she successfully got rid of it, Eun Hyuk knew the team was in a trouble, so he performed the surgery without medicine, he worked it out, Jisoo woke up, at night, Lee Kyung heard a noise during her bath, she thought it was some pervert in the apartment. However, he was a deserter, when the soldier woke up, the walkie-talkie spoke, he got panicked and dropped the walkie-talkie off, a man was talking, there was also the sound of gunshots, smelling something fishy, she smashed the walkie-talkie, then she asked Sang Wook and Hyun Soo to take off the SOS sign. When they went downstairs, the security guard was transforming, then he entered the elevator. He wanted to go downstairs where there were more people, Hyun Su alerted everyone, everyone on the first floor heard the alert, to save time, Hyun Su jumped down from a height of 100 meters, he wasn't a monster yet so he got his legs broken, it was his sacrifice to save everyone, even though, it was quite late. The elevator opened, Jin Ok was the first one to see him, hearing her voice, the monster turned its head around and attacked her. Jaehyun blocked it with his sword, Jaehyun tried to fight with an injured arm, the lawnmower cut off his arm, falling on the ground, Jaehyun looked at his arm and the sword was not far from him, other people came there, however, they daren't get close to him, Jaehyun's tears rolled down. It wasn't because he was going to die. He actually didn't want to leave his beloved alone, earlier, he confessed his love to Jisoo, I know it sound crazy in this situation but I have to say it out, I like you, Jisoo, Jisoo wondered if that was God's will, Jaehyun answered. Nah, it's my will, he took off the sling after making a decision, he picked up his sword the only arm left and tried his best to push the monster in the elevator. It was to make sure the monster wouldn't approach the others, neither hurt the ones whom he wanted to protect, his affection transformed into a resolution, he led the monster in the elevator, and he was also stuck there with it, without reservation, he ended the lives of them both, Hyun Su crawled there and saw everything that made him mournful, Jae Hee and punched the gas bag on the guard's back. Eun Hyuk wouldn't let Jae Hyun die for nothing, fighting down a feeling of grief, Eun Hyuk threw the mini gas tank at the elevator, the flame flared up, the residents buried Jae Hyun and organized a funeral for Jae Hyun, Jisoo couldn't stand it, she cried without making a sound in a corner, Sang Wook bid a farewell to Jae Hyun with a soju, the next day, Mr. Gil Siab saw an armored vehicle running towards their building. The kids thought the army was going to save them, Gil Siab told Ik Young, act as you wish. I'll receive the guests, don't trust the army during chaotic. You haven't experienced it, right, and he was right. The armored car smashed through the door, a group of people got off the car, they were not soldiers, seeing the deserter, the leader gave him multiple stabs, they pressed him down and cut off his finger. The robber put his thumb on a locked suitcase, failed to open the suitcase, the scar-faced man was extremely angry, he shot the deserter, the leader told his men to gather all the residents, a robber used lipstick to draw a circle on the ground, if anyone stepped out of the circle, they would die, the young girl got a shot because she was too late to step in the circle, the leader told everyone no one would die as long as they obeyed. Hyun Su wanted to confront them in a fight but Eun Hyuk held him back, because Hyun Su was their secret weapon, they had to wait for the right moment to strike, elsewhere, Sang Wook pointed a gun at two robbers, one of them realized that Sang Wook didn't click the safety off, that meant he didn't know to use a gun, Ik Young jumped out of nowhere and knocked them down, the others didn't notice her. The robber also discovered a woman alone in the room, he took her life as she was infected, when Shin Young Seo was about to beat Eun Hyuk, they heard a gunshot, Ik Young knocked down a robber. His accomplices also moved, they fired off. Ik Young ran away, most of the robbers chased after her, Eun Hyuk jumped on the leader's back, Hyun Soo also attacked. The other residents began to fight, together. They knocked down the robbers, Eun Hyuk wasn't the leader's enemy. He was struck down, right after that, Shin Young Seo shot Hyun Soo, and pointed the gun at Eun Hyuk's head, the residents had no choice to release the robbers following his order, the woman that Shin Young Seo got rid of earlier suddenly showed up, the robbers were scared to death. They shot her up, she kept moving forwards to strangle one guy's neck. 
she turned into a monster that couldn't distinguish between enemy and friend, Hyun Su used his body to protect Eun Hyuk from her attack, out of choice, Hyun Su strangled her until her last breath to protect the others, he then passed out due to the exhaustion, Shin Yong Seo realized that Hyun Su could heal himself, he could tell Hyun Su was infected and his mission was to destroy all the monsters. They burnt the body of Auntie Si and Yang, and they carried Hyun Su to the rooftop without the intention of ending him, their goal was to torture him, when Hyun Su woke up, Shin Yong Seo shot him once, the robbers thought he was trying to run. In fact, he just closed the door to prevent them from going down, the scared face man was about to shot him again, yet, a young guy stabbed him and threw him out of the building. Yui Myung handled the robbers, he was also infected like Hyun Su, Hyun Su wondered why Yui Myung ended his member's life. Yui Myung laughed out loud, he asked Hyun Su if a wolf and a rabbit were a team, earlier, he just ended people's life for fun, Hyun Su believed that some monsters wouldn't harm human, then he showed Yui Myung the home of Do Sik, where laid the fetus transformed by Myung Suk. Yui Myung was surprised, he asked Hyun Su, I believe some monsters don't harm human, on the opposite, will human spare those monsters, he then showed Hyun Su a leaflet, the military was looking for the black sheep among the infected people, anyone who reported them would be protected by the army and given a place in a safe camp, if people on the first floor saw this, would they report Hyun Su? Going down with Yui Myung, Hyun Su wondered about the others, when the elevator door opened, everyone pointed the weapons at him, Hyun Su remained silent, Ee Kyung pointed her gun at Yui Myung, Gil Siab told him to stay behind them, Hyun Su stood in front of Yui Myung, covering Yui Myung, Hyun Su claimed that he and Yui Myung were the same, he asked them to put the weapons down if they believed him. In the evening, Hyun Su asked for Yui Myung's future, Yui Myung was searching for more people like them, so he hoped Hyun Su would join, at first when he realized he was infected, he volunteered to join the army's experiment, however, the army tortured him in different ways to separate virus from his body, he suffered it for a long time because they kept failing, one day when his blood took everyone in the lab down. He learned that he himself was already a monster, he was the chosen one for the revolution, humans failed, not only their experiments, they was being eliminated from nature, Yui Myung wanted Hyun Su to accept that humans and monsters cannot coexist, Hyun Su wavered by his words, what was coming next ensured Yui Myung's words, he saw the residents were trying to burn the green liquid, the monster protected Yang Su yesterday. Humans were inimical to what they couldn't control, Hyun Su belief on them cracked, he agreed with Yui Myung that humans and monsters couldn't coexist, Eun Hyuk asked Yui Myung about the leaflet, when Eun Hyuk called Hyun Su's name, Hyun Su said he was no longer their weapon, Eun Hyuk never thought of reporting Hyun Su, Yui Myung revealed that the army would destroy all the areas with the signs of monsters. Eun Hyuk gave Lee Kyung a transmitter, actually, she was caught by the army and they released her to help them find the special people for vaccine research, both Eun Hyuk and Lee Kyung didn't buy into the army, so they put the transmitter in a drawer, they had no idea that a man was eavesdrop, when they left the room, the man took the transmitter out of the drawer and pressed it down, the next day. Yuri asthma recurred, she ran out of the medicine, Sangwook carried Yuri on his back and ran towards the main door, Yui Myung gave them a kick, because he allowed no one to leave the building, once the army found them, they would discover this place, seeing Yuri dying, Hyun Su gave Sangwook the key to get out for medicine, on the condition that he would leave with Yui Myung. Yui Myung agreed with Hyun Su but he shot Yuri and Sangwook when they got out. Hyun Su tried to stop it but Yui Myung threw him away, right after that, he shot every single person around there, Lee Kyung fought him back to stop the manslaughter, bullets couldn't take him down, when Yui Myung pointed the gun at Lee Kyung, Hyun Su shoved him to the ground, Hyun Su was no match for Yui Myung whose arm could went through Hyun Su's body, Yui Myung spoke in an ironical voice. You haven't ended no one life, because I was the one who got into Auntie Si and Yang's body, he then laughed out loud, he enjoyed playing those people, Hyun Su was in a high dudgeon, at this time, a solar eclipse suddenly appeared in the sky. Hyun Su's body also changed, he lost his senses, like a fallen angel returning from hell. Yui Myung felt excited, he didn't know what would happen next. He was tightly strangled by Hyun Su's thorny wing, each sharp spike pierced Yui Myung's body. He was turned into a pool of blood, Eun Yu stopped Yuri from attacking Hyun Su, Hyun Su spread his wing and moved towards the others, a man jumped up and hugged Hyun Su tight to stop him from hurting the others, it was Do Sik who cared for Hyun Su the most. The spike hurt Do Sik, he kept comforting Hyun Su to wake him up. That's okay, Hyun Su, all fine. It's not your fault, the spike disappeared, Hyun Su's eyes became normal, Do Sik spoke his last words, it's not your fault, Yuri and Sang Wook lost their lives, waking up, Hyun Su didn't remember what happened earlier, looking at Do Sik's body, he recalled the time with him, 
Hyunsu wondered who he was and why he himself was crying for that man, he felt painful. Gil Siab passed away the following day, while digging the ground to bury Gil Siab, they discovered a secret path, while everyone was still drowning in grief, a puddle of blood crawled in the armored vehicle, it started the car and left the building, at night, a whole enemy unit surrounded the building, these armed soldiers ordered everyone in the building to turn in the specially infected person. The man who shared the location was excited, he only wanted the army's protection without caring for Hyun Su's safety, while they were figuring it out, the army shot up the place, everyone hurriedly moved down to the underground tunnel, Un Hyuk's nose bled. He locked himself in the control room, in order not to involve everyone, Hyun Su walked out of the building, the soldiers kept shooting at him. The feeling of pain also made him remember everything about those who cared for him, those who treated his wound and be all ears to hear him out, and those who said sorry and thanked him, plus the people who encouraged him to continue his life, he would make a choice this time, protecting his sweet home, in the dark world, this guy could remain his honesty and naivety, elsewhere, after everyone got out of the tunnel. They were still surrounded by the army, they were put on a truck to return to centralized quarantine, Eek Young in a military uniform said goodbye to everyone, her deal with the army was not over yet so she ran to another battlefield, opening the eyes, Hyun Su was in an armored car, he was so amazed when Sang Wook was still alive, he greeted Hyun Su, long time no see, sweet home season 1 ends.